Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for uh, Capricorn for the first half of your January from the 1st to 15th. Um, this could be in any of your placements, okay? Because this reading give you any, anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So um, we're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um Pis uh, not pisces uh capricorn people okay um so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Capricorn here. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn, uh, what can Capricorn expect for the um, first half of their January from the 1st to the 15th? Wheel of Fortune, okay. King of Pentacles, your fortune's changing here. Yeah, your luck is changing here too. Could be that, you know, perhaps a work situation that you're in, it could be drastically changing in your favor here, okay? Uh, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Typically that's Taurus energy for me, but yeah, that could be Capricorn too. We have the Tower here and the Knight of Wands, wow. Whatever this is, I feel like this is kind of like a blessing from the universe here because I feel like whatever this is, this is changing very, 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 very quickly, okay? The Tower, Aries Scorpio, Knight of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. What else do we have here for Capricorn? There's the Six of Cups here and the Six of Wands. Okay. You know, I feel like for the first half of your January, you know, I feel like there could be some sort of nostalgia here about the past. Now, maybe this could be about the past, thinking about you, missing you here, or that this could be you missing the, the past here, okay? But it seems like, you know, things are going so well, you know, it could be a situation that the past is unexpectedly, like, racing back in here, okay? Um, but yeah, with the judgment card here, it seems like it's it seems like a reconciliation energy here to me. But I feel like you're coming to a realization here that you've made so much pro progress in your life that you can't go back. Okay, judgment, Sagittarius energy. I mean, this could be an indication that you've learned big lessons here. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, whoever this person is, you just don't want to deal with this person anymore. Uh, this is a karma that you don't want to take on here. Okay, tell me about the tower here. Why is the tower here? We have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, Cap Capricorn, you're doing completely fine on your own here. Yeah, the knight of wands here and the ten of cups. So what's happening here is I feel like someone here is definitely coming in to save a relationship here, okay? A relationship that you no longer want anymore because I feel like this individual that's coming into your life, this is someone that you don't trust, okay? But with the Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands here and the Nine of Pentacles, this could be an indication that, you know, you're in this place right now, you're really good with yourself and you're just really enjoying your freedom here and enjoying the uh, rewards that you're getting from the universe and, you know, just, you know, being really successful in your career and your money here. The Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands here. Tell me about the Six of Cups here. We have the world, whoever this is. This is someone that has not moved on from you, but you could have moved on from this person already. Six of Wands here and the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Scorpio Pisces here, perhaps. Maybe you have those energies in your chart. Whoever this is, someone here is definitely trotting back into your life, I feel. Okay. Um, what else do we have here for Capricorn? What else do we have here for Capricorn? Outcome and advice here for Capricorn regarding their situations. What else does Capricorn need to know, look out for, and work on here for the first half of their January? We have the Ace of Cups here and the Knight of Swords. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups here and the Emperor here, Aries energy. We have the Queen of Swords here and the Hermit. 
Okay, Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. One of the things I, I'm feeling like you're just focusing on your goals here. I mean, Capricorn, you're in this energy of like leveling up. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, you've just grown and changed a lot here, okay? Grown and changed a lot to the point where you just don't have room for past things, past stuff, yeah, past people. Queen of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Hermit here, Virgo energy. So what's happening here is that, yeah, there is someone coming back. Maybe there are multiple people coming back in your life, but, you know, I just feel like you're distancing yourself from these individuals. Tell me about the Ace of Cups here. Could be an indication that, you know, there is someone that's coming back to you because they're still in love with you. With the Ace of Cups here, you know, this could be an indication that, you know, you're putting it out there in the universe that you're looking for a new love. You're manifesting new love. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands here. Could be someone new that's coming into your life here. But more so, you could be focusing on your healing, focusing on your uh, uh, passions here. You know, right now, I just feel like you're giving a lot of space to yourself and holding space for yourself right now. Okay? Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Two of Wands. The Emperor. In the five of wands here. Well, someone here is definitely coming in to fight or argue here with you. But I just feel like you're distancing yourself from this or that you just don't have time for the drama or just you just don't want to be stuck in this energy here. Knight of swords, knight of cups, knight of wands, knight of pentacles here. Lots of knights here. I mean, there could be some sort of flightiness to this person that's coming back towards you or that you're just really taking action towards things that you want here for yourself. You know, manifesting here. Yeah. So let's see what else we have here. Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Page of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel like someone here is definitely coming back around with an apology here. You know, I just feel like you just don't want to be stuck. You know, you could be in this energy of like, yeah, maybe there is is a, a person that's coming in for you. This this uh, this new person is like a, your divine counterpart here. We have the Empress of the Empress here. It seems like you could be meeting new love here. Yeah, I, I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, the past is coming back, but for you, there's no going back for you. You know, it's kind of like it's done. You don't want to open those doors again or open those old wounds again here. Okay. So, yeah. So, Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.